Hi, this is Carl Palachuk with Small Biz Thoughts, and I sit on the Advancing Tech Talent and Diversity Executive Council for CompTIA. Today, I want to talk a little bit about what allyship means to me. I consider myself an ally in the sense that I am constantly working a thousand times a day on all the tiny little things that help people to be seen, to show up as their true selves, uh, and to, to be visible in our community and to try to balance out some of the inequities that we see in our personal and our professional lives. So allyship is literally about being dedicated to concepts of diversity and equality. And that may not be something that you think is hugely important in your business or your life, but here's the problem. Diversity is everywhere. And if you don't have it and you don't see it, when you look around your office, when you look around the conferences you go to, then something is askew. Something is not quite right. So I work hard to make sure that in our hiring process, for example, we make sure that it's, it's a loud, clear message. Absolutely everybody is welcome to apply. As odd as it sounds, Adding that phrase to a resume dramatically changes the people who will apply. Many people opt themselves out of participation in our industry and in all industries simply because they don't know that they will be welcome. When they look, they see somebody who doesn't look like them asking for the standard questions, having the standard application process. And so for whatever reason, they say, uh, they're not looking for somebody like me. Now, I do have to say, I am completely committed to diversity. I, I am a huge believer in the growing research that the more diversity you have, the more profitable you will be, the more energetic your staff will be, the more creative your staff will be. So I think that's hugely important. But in our industry, in the, in the public, outside of my own company, I also make an effort to make sure people feel included, make sure that people know they are welcome. You know, when you think about the IT industry, we have a very, very visible problem. 61% of the people in this industry are male. So males are overrepresented, but when you go to a conference, it's closer to 85 or 90% for most conferences are male. Why is there that difference? Well, it's because a lot of women don't feel welcome and maybe they don't feel safe, but whatever it is, we are not making the effort to turn our industry into an equitable environment. And you can say similar things for different races and uh, sexual orientations and all kinds of stuff. So being an ally is really about being somebody who's attentive to a thousand tiny little things all the time. It's not about being a hero or, or being the poster child or managing a big campaign and then we push the button and say we're done. No, this is a thousand things every day forever. And it's about all the little things, not letting people squash other people when they're talking. It's about not shying away from difficult conversations. And it's about giving a thumbs up to people who start those difficult conversations. Doesn't mean you have to jump in and, and have a massive opinion and dominate the conversation. All the little things that you do every single day make people feel like, hey, this is part of my industry. I do belong here and I can achieve things here and I can be part of the bigger conversation. When you look around in this industry, scan the room and think about, does this look the way that it should look? Is it populated with the people who should be here? And if you don't see the people, all the people who should be there, then perhaps it's time for you to become an ally as well and just help with all the thousand little things every day. It is my opinion that there are three primary reasons that when we go to conferences, it doesn't look the way society looks. It doesn't look like the rest of our lives. First, and 
unfortunately most common is that some people intentionally make others feel unwelcome. And that is the hardest thing to face, but it's also the most obvious. Less obvious, number two is, sometimes people unintentionally make people feel unwelcome. They spend all their time talking to each other, head down, being involved in their little micro group and not bringing more people in, not inviting people to come. And finally, number three, I'm a firm believer that many people simply opt themselves out because they do not feel welcome. And so ultimately our job as the people who are on the inside is to simply make as many people as possible feel welcome to be an active, engaged part of our community. We can make this change in very, very short order. Unfortunately, all the statistics are heading in the wrong direction. Women are not growing in numbers in our industry. In fact, they are shrinking. The percentage of women in our industry has dropped more than 5% in the last 10 years. That is not heading in the right direction. And that is the responsibility of the people who are in the industry do go to the conferences and do participate in making things happen. So if you've gotten this far in the video, thank you. I appreciate it. And I hope that you will help CompTIA and the Advancing Tech Talent and Diversity Executive Council to get things done to open up the conversation to more and more people with a thousand little things every day.